welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, you are joining me here for episode two on my series to Road to Figure, which is really exciting because I am 24 weeks out and a lot has happened in this week. I'm doing this YouTube video quite similar to the first episode. I'm filming it in two parts, like two days. Um, so today will be my check-in day like it was in the last video. Um, and I'll just up you, uh, update you guys on what has been going on in my life because genuinely in the last seven days, so much has gone on. Genuinely, like it's actually crazy considering we're still in lockdown, regardless. Um, so I'm gonna talk to you about that in just a moment. Um, but then also I'm going to be taking you to the gym because the gym's open tomorrow. However, it's rest day tomorrow. So it won't be tomorrow, it'll be Tuesday that I'm filming it. However, you are going to be joining me and Ella on our training session at the gym at Future Fitness, which is so exciting because I just cannot wait to step foot in there. Just cannot wait, just, oh, just so excited. But anyway, so that is what this video is going to entail. Um, I'm unsure if it's gonna be of a raw footage kind of vibe or if it's gonna be like a like an edited video. Um, I'm not sure yet, so it will be a surprise to yourself and me when it happens, I suppose. So let's talk about what's been going on this week with me. As some of you know, I have been doing my charity run for my dad. Um, and let's just say the last time I ran, I weighed 49 kilos and that was, I wanna say in year 11, which was probably was about five years ago now. I wanna say five years ago. Um, and I now weigh almost 70 kilos. So I'm 20 kg above the last time I like actually ran properly. And uh, let's just say my, uh, my knees and just my body's just not quite happy with it. So. I actually can't have come out with not one, not two, but three niggles or injuries um, this week. I had a really bad issue with my lower back. My core strength and my ability to brace properly, um, it just caused my lower back to kind of go, that's one injury, my lower back, um, which I went to go see a physio with. I got my, I got my lower back, um, sports massage, I had shockwave therapy and acupuncture on it. However, it still wasn't, it wasn't 100%. So um, my glutes were tight and my quads were tight. So I went back think, like hoping it was because of my like quads and glutes. I had them done. I only had a sports massage done on them. They were tight, really, really pain. The worst physio session I've ever had. Um, but my lower back, it feels great now, it feels absolutely fine. I'm doing core um, strengthening as well, which is like vacuums and like breathing techniques and I can't remember exactly what they're called, um, but I'm doing them every morning, but I did actually forget today. But we won't talk about that. Um, <laughs> so yeah, my lower back seems to be getting sorted, seems to be on its way to recovery. Because of running as well, uh, my knee, my knee is the biggest issue at the moment. I'm actually hobbling. I'm really, really struggling to walk at the moment. There's just pain throughout my knee. With whatever I do, bending it, moving it, laying in bed, walking. So I'm actually not being able to run my 1K at the moment. I'm just having to like walk it. Um, calling the GP tomorrow as it's Sunday, so they're closed. Um, and hopefully uh, they can give me some advice and also um, maybe some like anti-inflammatory or something like that because I'm having to dose up on ibuprofen and paracetamol just to get through like daily activities of walking to the kitchen and cooking my food. So that's an issue that needs to be sorted ASAP. Then just because of um, the dumbbells that we have at the gym, they're the Watson ones. They're meant to help with your stability, but because my hands are so tiny, um, I really I really struggle with them, and I think they've caused like. I'm really unstable on them. It completely defeats the object of why they're like, they have like a spinny, a spinny thing in it. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Basically the handle is usually like sturdy, but like actually spins. It's really weird. If you know what the Watson um, dumbbells are, you'll know what I mean. And I think that's just caused my left rotator cuff to just 
to be really weak. I mean, I, me and Ella warm up properly. We, you know, we do a lot of work before our session to ensure we're warm and to build up our rotator cuffs and stuff. Um, especially because Ella's got a like an issue with hers as well. So we're quite hot on warming up and all that kind of stuff and mobility work, but um, obviously it's just uh, not really worked. Um, or it's just the dumbbells because we both both of the both of our issues have increased throughout this kind of period of using those dumbbells. So when we get back to the gym, it'll be really exciting to see um, if we get better in that sense. So those are the three injuries, unfortunately, that I have had or have. So that's kind of pushed me back um, and really demotivated me to train because my ability to actually train has actually gone downhill. But I have checked in this morning and I have some very exciting news. I was meant to be starting prep on the 6th of, 6th of June, I think it was. Now I am starting prep at 18 weeks out. I can't remember the exact date, I'll pop it on the screen, but I'm starting it a little bit earlier. So in six weeks time, six weeks time, madness i'm i'm really excited but i'm really 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 scared like i'm really nervous um just hearing it that soon like i don't know it's just making my stomach turn and it's like oh my god it's so soon um i mean, i am really ecstatic but like i'm going shit, shit, shit. um so yeah, um, we wanted to do like a whole slow process. Um, we kind of just wanted to take it steady. Um, and Tom basically thought that there was no need to just wait for that as long as we were gonna wait for. And um, we're gonna obviously base, um, base it also around my injuries. Five weeks should be more than enough time to ensure that I'm ready, um, injury free. So yes, yeah, starting at prep earlier. <sighs> which I know I've said it, I know I've said it. I'm just a bit like, I literally just found out now. Um, so yes, that's very exciting. But I will leave today now and I will get back to you guys. Um, also, actually, I forgot to mention, there have been no changes to my food um, currently, um, no changes to literally anything this week, keep everything the same. Um, I've got my gym training plan um, back, which is really, really exciting. And I start my job on Tuesday. So things may change slightly um, in regards to um, my food and all that kind of stuff, depending on my expenditure um, whilst at work. But we are moving forward and I'm super, super excited now. Um, so yeah. What I'll do now is I'll leave you guys here because I feel like I've been talking for ages and um, you will most likely see me on Tuesday now, which is two days from now, one day, one full day, and then it'll be Tuesday. And then you'll see me and Ella at the gym. So, see you later. So guys, first session back. Oh. <laughs> and we're training legs for, aren't we? So, um, well, I mean, I'm gonna try and train the legs part, if not, I'm just yeah, gonna she, make it. You're allowed to try things, yeah. and if it's like, okay, then you'll be fine. Although I woke up like, you know I said yesterday, it woke up, I woke up and it felt pretty good. I woke up this morning and I was like, and it wasn't. I was like, yeah, no, yesterday was just a fluke. A fluke, yeah. Well, and that's maybe really because I went shopping yesterday and was on my foot, feet quite a lot. Maybe. So, but we'll see, we'll see we'll what see. I can do. I feel like in the video. I feel like I'll be able to do hammies. Yeah. Um, but like any kind any of like... Any movement. Yeah. You might even be able to do stiff legs if you she, want to try them. She did... Oh, my, my back. Oh, <laughs> not. No. But like, she did say like wide squats. So I'm maybe just going to like just see... Just see what I can do there. <laughs> um, but... We'll see. We've got, we've got planned today anyway. So I've got... A abductor first. Yes, whilst I'm doing my... Mobility. Country curls, we've got some T-bar rows. I've got stiff leg deadlifts, which I've never done before. So that'll be fun. I'm gonna lawn there, literally, like, loves them. Do you remember when he was like, oh, what we're doing RDLs? He was like, do stiff leg. Lewis loves them as well. 
I've never seen them. Maybe I'll love them now. Who knows? You never know. I mean, I, I love Ardiels, and I'm just really sad I can't do them because today yeah. would be my Ardiels day. Would it? Yeah. What would you do on like a vigil day? I think. Oh, um, I see your thing. Yeah, I've got that. Hit for as well. Glue dryer. The glue dryer. Is it the Nautilus one? No, Nautilus. 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 Yeah. Naughty. Naughty. Alright, <laughs> yeah. anyway. We'll see you in a bit. Pre's going down the hatch. No, we go. You excited? I'm very I suppose we've been training at Lewis, so it's a bit like we're kind of lucky with the people who've been doing like bandit stuff. Yeah. video now for the last three days um it's taken quite a long time um but i also realized i didn't do an outro with ella so i'm doing that now on thursday that was our training session it was a very very long one um obviously i told you guys at the start of the video that my knees or my knee wasn't too great um so we did have a few exercises towards the end that ella did um, which was the glute drive and some split squats unfortunately due to my knee i wasn't able to perform those um, and also time was ticking so we didn't really have time to record them either um, because i had work straight after the gym 
So that is pretty much our session, um, apart from the last two exercises weren't in there. Um, and that's pretty much all for this video. You know, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoy watching me and Ella train. I'm hoping to do some non-edited videos with Ella um, for the YouTube channel, just so you can truly see how we train um, without the music and the edits, just because I think that would be quite nice for you guys to see. Um, but if you haven't already, uh, please like and subscribe and follow my Instagram. And... Yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next week.